Hello and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubes. Or as I like to call it, a nice cold glass of ice cubes. Really? No, not really. Just, just a tall glass just, of cubes. Just a glass, that's us, that's do the you, show. A do cold you, glass of ice. Do you think that ice that has been melted into a tepid glass of water is superior to just normal tap water. So pre you, this water like was cold water. It's like this water you may you may you may pick up notes of being previously frozen. Ah, that sounds nice. Yes, yes. Nice as ice. Hey! hey! Let's dive on in. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mod of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time to figure out what our type advantage for the week is going to be. And I'm feeling some fire, man. You feel like I I'm feel feeling like it's the a, fire. It's a good time for some fire. Here we go. Big spin, big spin. Could it be? Could Let's it be? See. Let's see. Oh, oh one off! It is going to be lightning bolt energy. Lightning bolt energy for the day. So if you have a lightning bolt energy in your pack, then everything is worth double and every lightning energy card is just worth a point on its own. Well, every every lightning Pokemon every is lightning worth a point Pokemon on its own. Is worth a also, we gotta switch to skateboards. Hold on. Big jolt in the house. Big jolt! Now, Ben, lightning energy has been really good this season because that is uh, what offered up some big multipliers, specifically for our second place person, Ben C, who has a solid 78 points, but is still ways off the leaderboard. Brooke, who has a, a solid 230 points for their Alt Art Lugia V pull. It is the first time within the series at any point where we have pulled the largest, the rarest, the highest value card, and someone has done it. So now, uh, as we enter like the second pack round of season three, I am just deadly curious to see if anybody can can take a swipe at old Brook there on top of the mountain because it's going to be hard. But you never know. Wilder things have happened. Well, I don't know. Wilder things have not maybe happened on this show <laughs> yet. But it doesn't mean they couldn't happen, especially when you consider today's common chase cards. What today we are going to have Sandile, Fletchender, and Fennekin. So if you pull any of these Pokemon at all in your packs, you also get an additional point for that. There you go. Very exciting stuff. Not to mention the other cool thing that we have going on so far this season is that we have three people who are currently all sharing the last place position mm. with mm. zero, zero points. points. Uh, this is of course due to the new rule that we have inducted into this year's season, which is that if your card doesn't have the energy card, but instead has the V-Star, uh, then that's just a minus one point. That's a minus one point, and it happened in three packs. So we had the V-Star marker, and then only scored one point, resulting in zero. That's Data Rach, Anita, and Lauren B. All duking it out for the coveted last place spot, which of course wins you an Elite Trainer box. I know, very exciting stuff. We also have the Big Steve Award, where Big Steve is a participant participant and dear friend in real life for Jay and I, who has two points. The person who scores directly above Big Steve at the end of the season will also win the Big Steve award. There is the quality eighth place award, and of course, first place, which wins an entire booster box from the Silver Tempest set. Speaking of which, let's break a box. It's like everyone's just crying at my house right now. Oh dear. It sounds like they need some Pokemon cards. Maybe, that would make everyone feel better, right? I think so. Let's see. I'm gonna put it in regular mode today. Oh, okay. Not going for like the fun times. Not going for the fun times. All I right. mean business. You mean bit? Okay. We're retail having... establishment business. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think most of retail establishments. I can't I've stand been it. Have I can't good, they stand, go full yeah, fun. They yeah, they go full fun. No, there we go. It's much better. I don't know what I was thinking for a second there. That was, All right. 
was painful to think about. Man, well, now that we've got that out of our system, let's start with today's first contestant, Sydney, who, uh, very fun, this is her first round. So uh, they're coming in at zero points themselves. Let's see how they make a mark on the leaderboard. Other fun news is that over the holidays, we had enough people sign up that we have over 100 people in the game now, which is really exciting because it means we're gonna be breaking the month down into four different episodes where we open 25 packs per episode, or I think one for 26. Maybe a couple Yeah, something like that. There. there is also the other thing we haven't really truly discussed, but within the Patreon tier, you can select uh, grass, fire, water, or electric, which sort of assigns you to a team. Once we max out all of those teams, there will be another game in play. Another so. game in play. So yeah, if you're not playing yet, but you want to play, there's still room to pick your team, and then we'll unlock a whole nother game inside the game. But in the meantime, let's see what Sydney has. Boom, the grass energy. So no multiplier just yet. We have the Draclox, the, the Matang, and Earth Swirlix. Okay, so we're not seeing any bonus points of any kind at all. The Miss Mages is a rare, so that's one extra point. And the Reuniclus right there. So double uh, Psychic rares there. That's kind of cool, but only a two point pack, I dare have to say, for Deadly Sloth, aka Sydney. There we go. In our test spin for the energy round, before we started, just to make sure that the wheel was working, we did land on an eyeball energy. If so only. if that had been the case, you would have you would have been in even better shape. But either which way, these cards are headed your way. Enjoy. All right. Next up, we have Narwhal King. If he's even real. <laughs> Narwhals. All right. Narwhal King comes into the season with two points. So they're really hoping for maybe that like one or two points to get to stay in contention with Big Steve. Although it's so early, I mean, so you never know. know what to think with Big Steve. I mean, he can go any which way at any right. point in time, but look at uh -oh, this, we're uh -oh. at minus one point. Maybe they're going for that last place one. Could be, could be with All the right. dreaded V-Star, so we'll put that on there as one negative point, and then we'll dive into the pack, which I think is gonna be a solid pack. I have a I have a very strong feeling about okay. it. Okay. All right, so how do you, how do you pronounce Palo that? Palo Sand, okay, Matang. Smeargle, Litten. There's a point for the Chincho. Oh, Chincho. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. For the electric. Yep. No chase Pokemon at all. Stonejourner. And... and... <gasps> oh, the Alolan Vulpix V-Star! That's so fun! That this is, is really cool. This uh, card actually found its way into like a regional winning list fairly recently. Most people like wrote it off, said no, it's no good at all, but someone managed to make it work, so I don't think it's gonna work again. It might have been like a one-trick pony or one-trick fox, if you will, but what's the what's the score? Okay, so it is a V-Star, and like my my uh, nieces and nephew, they absolutely covet the V-Max, the V-Star, like yeah. that top tier. It does doesn't always necessarily mean uh, that it's a super high value card, and that is unfortunately the case oh, no. with this particular one. It's a very beautiful card, if nothing else, uh, but it does. The number 34 card on the set comes in at $2.48, which will round up to uh, three total points. Three total points plus, plus an additional. The Shinchao, so yep. that's four total. Minus, minus oh, one for the right. V Star. Minus one equals three because of the V Star. So. That is uh, three points on the episode, five points on the season for Narwhal King, but either way you get this awesome, beautiful uh, Alolan Vulpix. There we go, away. headed your way. All right, next up is Crisera, who is coming into the uh, episode with 12 points on the season, and it's re they're really uh, hoping that they get the raucous pummeling energy because they, it turns out, are a black belt. Yeah, so in real life. Crisera is currently in fourth place on the season. So strong, wow. strong positioning, and also like, I would say exceptionally strong positioning for a quality eighth place finish. There's no doubt about that. It's crazy that 12 points puts you at fourth when, in order to be in first, you need um, you know another 220 some odd points. Yes, so. yes. Here's hoping, Crisera. Oh, off to a very good start, though. I, it's like we always say, the people who, who seem to be high point leaders tend to perform consistently. We don't know how or why. We don't know how or why. It just tends to happen that way. The Stunfisk is an extra point. Togedemar, the Esper, the Medicham is, is a rare, so that's an extra point. And the Braviary, so not a whole lot to write home about right there, but not nothing. That's gonna be a, what, six point pack, A six point I pack, yep, yes. so, so three, and then we get the two times multiplier for the uh, type advantage. So once again, you know, I mean, six points, very competitive, puts you at 18 points on the season, which would actually still leave you in fourth place at the yep. moment, however, uh Strong, strong place to be. But yeah, having so 18 points on the season, that's, per, that's yeah, that's really solid. It's still not gonna move you into third place at all. Right, yeah, we, we, the, the first pack 
of season three across the board, there was some competitive stuff being dropped. There was, there's no doubt about that. Uh, next up, crowd favorite, Emily Stock is in the house right here. Uh, presently sitting in 12th place with six points. Ben, if you do the honors. I will do it, I will do it. All, All right. right, let's see, Emily, what we can do for you here today. Emily has watched over 250 anime shows. Not Ooh. episodes, shows. Hey, but check it out, look at this. What? This is the same thing, is this the, is it doing the thing again? It's doing the thing again. Wow. So at the very least, we might have a little extra uh, d dose of predictability. Let's see. I'm, I'm always so curious how the production line at like the Pokemon like trading card company works. The, it's I like, mean, you can look up videos of the factories. The machines are massive. It's crazy. I'm sure yeah. they would have to be. They would have to be. So two times for anything we get in the pack due to the uh, due to the lightning energy. There we got a clay doll, a worker, a sunflora, halucha, toga tomorrow. That's right. Good. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Have we got a single? Chase card yet? I don't believe so. No. We do have a Pikachu. Oh, oh! And the full art Malamar. That's fun. Very cool. From the trainer gallery. That's yep. a beautiful card. And, and the, the Noivern. Okay, so it's a three, it's at least a six point pack. At least at least six. Let's we have double three check the Malamar. Cards. Yeah, on the Malamar. It's gonna be trainer gallery number six. I do love the trainer gallery that they do that. It's a fun way to incorporate some other fun rares into the mix. Uh, Trainer Gallery number six is Malamar, is only worth 67 cents. Ah, so will. it's still just a six point pack, bringing Emily up to 12 on the season, uh, which is gonna be good enough for fourth place at the moment. Next up, E.K. Sko, who I'm pretty sure I'm saying your name right this time. Maybe, who's to say? Now, E.K. Sko is really aiming for that, uh, the, the V-Star marker because they've only got one point this season, so. Just, just the lone, Just keep the it low, keep point. it low is, is, uh, it's so, it's so hard to say though with the second pack of the season out of three because yeah. you could really see your fate shift one way or another just with a single card. Pretty which of course is what happened with Brooke but ben, on the season. But oh, Ben! Oh man. Sko has come to play. They have gotten the V-Star marker. Oh my goodness. Let's see and... How are we gonna do? Will we, can we get a zero point pack? This Could it be? I don't oh, think so because I see something peeking something out back peeking there out. too. Uh, the Norman, the Togo tomorrow. Oh, the Sand Dial, that's the score. Oh, the Bla- oh! oh! The Trainer Gallery Blaze again. Man, this Dude. was one of the ones when I was reviewing the set that I was like, that is a cool card. Dude. Blaze again always Blaze makes- Blaze is just one of the like, coolest looking Pokemon. Really neat artwork. That's so awesome. Check that one out. And the Guard of War is and gonna the, score you some points as well. Right. So at the very least, we are looking at a three point pack, but let's see. But the Blaziken V on the Trainer Gallery is worth $18.26. Rounds up to 19 points. 19, 20, 21, 22, minus one is 21 points on the pack. Wow, very wow. impressive. Just that would like launch that. you right up into, I believe, the fourth position overall in, on yeah, the season. That's 22 points total now. So yeah, you're in, you're in fourth overall. Well done for EK Sko. Sko. I can never remember it. I'm so sorry. Because it says Sko like though, but I keep reading though like thou. <laughs> EK Sko. That's a cool card. That's no, a that cool is a card. really cool card. Man, Blaziken, Blaziken has some cool artwork. Man, the Blaziken Alt Art V Max from a few sets ago. Do you remember that one? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we finally cool. got a hold of that we one did. ourselves. All right. Next up is Chase. Chase. Uh, this is one of. Um, Do Do Marie Dola's sons. Yes, coming yes. in with single point All on right. the season. Loves hippos. Collects pins. I'd like to see if Chase can pull a Chase card. Yeah, you know it feels it feels very fitting. Very fitting indeed. We've avoided the V Star so far. With the flip, we have a raucous pummeling energy. Always a good omen, if nothing yeah, else. Right? Yeah, that's always good. Stone Journer. Leafy camo poncho, right. gotta have one of those. A Dratini, a Kling. With the stun fist, that'll extra get point. you a point. There you yeah. go. Uh, the Ralts is uh, just non scoring a and the, uh, the Milotic. Oh, Milotic. Milotic. Not Milotic. It might, you, it might be Milotic. I don't even know. Wow. It might be. So Let us know who's more pack. right. There you go. Now that brings Chase up to three points on the season. So technically, <clears throat> technically in strong scoring posi position for the Big Steve Award at the moment, although uh, Big Steve has not yet pulled from pack number two yet. So yeah. we have a ways to go. We do. 
Next up, brand new player on the season is Barnes and Noble Nerd coming in mid-season to try and make a splash. Let's see if they can do it. There you go. How this is the rookie gonna hold up against this fierce competition? It's, you know, it always goes one way or the other. It's always sink or swim when it comes to the rookies. I can already tell you right away that I see at least one electric Pokemon in there for at least the bonus point. There, oh, and oh, another Rock is pummeling. We should have known because we it's, known. Going we in, known. it's going in tandem there. They got the Toracat, the Venomoth, oh, the Emolga. The Meditite, the Ralts, the oh no, not oh, the Fletchender. The Ooh, the Waylord. I am building a, uh, a deck around this card right now at the moment, but not important. And the Victini. That's going to be a uh, two-point pack for the rookie Barnes and Noble nerd. Well done. Wait, way to way to enter the game. Way to enter the game. Way to enter the game. It's still early. There's still one more pack left of the season. Plenty of time. That's true. To to launch a comeback. That's right. We've seen. It only takes one pack. You it know? only takes one pack. Here we go. Next up is Anita, who was one of our zero point players on the day. So Anita really looking for that V star marker in here to keep the very low score. Uh, it would be exceptional if we saw it somebody. It would be amazing. Yeah. yeah let's. See Let's see Can so we get one, the perfect zero two, season? Three. No, no V star. No V star. So is it at least a point? At least a point. We got the fire energy up on mm -hmm. top there. We got yep. a lance. Archin. Arkin. Arkin. Clang. There's, you know, I always think about this, like my yeah. ignorance to how to pronounce these things. It's either adorable or annoying, and yeah. I'd be willing to bet it's a 50 50 spread on how people <laughs> feel about it. <laughs> I bet you're right. Yeah. All right. Fungus. Sandy Gast. Relicant. Oh, oh, another and, and the Articuno. Wow. So you know what? Even though Anita doesn't get the V Star marker, she still manages to score but one single point. But to one keep, single point, which is about as good as she could have hoped for, really. It's true, yeah, because the, like the question is going to be whether or not Data Rage and Lauren B, who are also in that zero range, can do the same. thing. Can do thing. the exact same thing. So Anita playing a very strong season, aiming for the ETB. Next up, Ben, currently sitting at the quality eighth play. Well, it might have shifted around a little already, but is Moss. Mostwig with eight points. Let's see. How is Mostwig going to do? Apparently, Mostwig can crack his ear like you crack your knuckles. Wow. So, let me get ready here. <laughs> Ethan, totally add a sound effect that doesn't match the noise. Yeah. <gasps> Boom! Oh, and the fire energy. So, no, no multiplier there. But let's see. Can we get an. Oh, I do see something peeking out back there, Ben. So, let's see. We haven't had a single Fennekin or Fletchinder so far. There's the more Petco and the Ooh. Omastar V, which if I had to guess, I think it's kind of like a bulk V. Yeah, this I feels like so. a single point V, which is unfortunate, but I could be wrong. No, you are correct. Coming at 69 cents, we'll round up to one point on the pack. Uh, either way, you get a you get a nice shiny full art V card there. That's, Very fun, that's, and it's you know Omastar, you know, praise the Lord Helix. Next up, we have John Munyon, like Paul Bunyan. Coming in with three points on the day. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, John is currently serving in the U.S. Navy. Hey, hey! That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your service. <laughs> you got that? I got it. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four, to the front and the flip. Eyeball, Eyeball energy. energy. So we, know what, we know what to expect in your next pack. We got a, a clang, an emergency jelly. Emergency jelly. Just in case. An arachnid. Araquanid. Araquanid. Yeah. Murkrow, Meditite, Durant Durant, Ralts, Fletchling. Not, not what we're looking not for. Not what we're though. looking for on the chase card. The V guard energy and, and a, the Del Fox. Fox. Oh, not the Fennekin. So just a single point packs for John Bunyan, like Paul Bunyan, serving in the Navy. Loves drive in movies with his family. But gonna get that Del Fox coming in the mail soon. Next up, Andy. Who has two points on the season. Two so points. Far. There you go. Again. So they're down there. They could be looking for a V-Star marker themselves. Could be. Could be also, in, again, in the, that same position as Big Steve. You never know whether or not Big Steve is just going to ride the average wave. Like, are they going to be, like, right in the middle of the uh, of, of the, the bell path. curve? Yeah. Eyeball energy. So I thought it didn't repeat. No, it did repeat. Oh, it did. Never mind. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, I forgot already. My memory is leaving me. 
So many psychic cards in this one. Wow. Wow. If only it had been eyeball. I know. You, you would have been would've racking been up the points right, right now. No, that would have been wild. Instead, it is one of the worst packs I've ever seen. Just a Barisian. <laughs> I am so sorry, sir. One of the worst wow. packs I've ever You know, but the, the thing is, when it comes to coming in last place, I'm pretty sure uh, last season it literally came down to a tiebreaker and the difference was one penny. It was. So you do only have three points on the season, which is still really good for that last place competition. And Congratulations! Even, uh, the Big Steve Award, but man, Verizion, one of my least favorite Pokemon. Jeez. Wor it, one of the worst legendaries. If it were me, I would phone my, my family and be like, Hey fam, guess what happened today? Yeah. I pulled the worst pack in the history <laughs> the of box worst breakers. Pack. Man. Couldn't be. Look up, Ben, how much is a Verizion worth? Let's look it up. Our Let's see. I, mean, I want to know. Stuck on it. What number is it on it the It is 14. Number 14. Number 14. Jay, I feel like you're not giving enough credit. Yeah. Nine cents. Nine cents. There it you could, go. It could be worse. That's almost a dime. That's it. Almost a whole dime. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Stefan and Susie. Uh, a couple, a couple of people who don't even have a couple of points yet. They're not in a single point themselves, so... They're, but they're sharing it. They're sharing it, you yeah. know? There you yeah, go. It's like a timeshare. Right. It's like, you know, every every day they alternate who gets to have the point for that day. Right. Yeah, there's a little trophy. They hand it back and forth. <laughs> I, I like to think so. Like yeah, they have to so. share the card they, they got. They commissioned a trophy in the name of the one point. Yeah. Um, let's see what our energy will be for the next two packs with the flip! Boom. The metal energy. Thank you for telling me. Yeah. I always want to say steel. Yeah, <laughs> that would make sense because in game it's called steel, but in the card game it's metal. Okay. For reasons. For reasons. We have a Nine <laughs> Tails, the Leafy Camo Poncho, the Slurpuff, the Bunary. <laughs> Bunary. Bunary, like I was saying. A Drowsy, Spinarak, a Ralt. We're getting a lot of Ralts A lot today. of Ralts. A Zubat. Mm -hmm. Solosis. Solosis. A Sandy Gas, which is just a regular, and, and the, the Incineroar. Incineroar. Which is a great artwork. <laughs> it is. I love the little snot bubble. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure we it's talked about great. it last, last season, but... Yeah. Great news for Stefan and Susie. You don't have to share that single point anymore. Now you can each have a point because that is a one point pack you got rocking there. Congratulations! So, there you go. Congrats. You can each uh, carry it around. I hope one of you. I hope one of you just carries this incinero around at all times and is like, you got your point with you. Yeah. You know. You want to know what would happen? I would love it if we ever did a meetup and you showed up, reached into your wallet, and pulled out the incineroar. Incineroar. And you're like, I do, I carry it with me everywhere I it, go. It says on the card that they're into CrossFit and Pokemon, so maybe maybe they have a game where they're they're supposed to keep their point card with them, and if the other one like pulls it out and the other one doesn't have it, that's like 10 burpees or right, something. Right, right then, right there. Right then, right there. Carry your point card, or we're, else. We're just injecting <laughs> like, like new relationship <laughs> standards. I can't wait to hear how that goes down. Who wants to keep the Incineroar? Next up, we have Dom, who's coming in with three points. Okay. More than Stefan and Susie can say, dare I say. I think you're up. Am I up? I believe so. All right, Dom, I got you. I got you, right here. This is it. I feel like this box has been lacking thus far in its overall oomphness, but we're gonna do it. I can't help but have Dom remind me of the character Dom, Dominic Toretto from yeah. the Fast and the Furious franchise. So I'm, I'm just imagining that like whatever your card is will be very muscular. Maybe it's another Incineroar with the uh, metal energy there. There's the low punny. This is Serena, man. If someone can pull the full art Serena, Ooh. you're gonna be sitting pretty. That I'll is tell you what. good. There's the Toracat, so oh, it's the unevolved form of the Incineroar, the Dratini, the Chincha. Oh, there we go, oh, the Braxian. That's, that's a beautiful awesome. card. Look at that. We talked about full art Serena. This is this is a full art card featuring Serena, but okay. it is not quite what we're looking for. Um, nonetheless, oh, and the Regilecki V Max. So that's actually oh, and the Chincha actually and the Chincha, story yeah, as well. Yeah. Wow. I, look, Dom. I told you I had your back, man. And here it is. And here so it is. I did. Okay. Let's see. How do we do? I love it when we have to go <clears throat> to the sheets yeah. to find out what's going on. I got it upside down. Hang on a second. So we'll start with the, the Brax in there. Uh, it's number one on the trainer gallery. It's worth $1.52. That's so that'll two round points. Up to two. Uh, the Regilecki is number 58 on the set. So just get, just bear with me now here. I'm bearing. Uh, number 58 on the set is worth two dollars and forty cents. So that's around three, three points. So that's going to be two. That's five, and then it's electric. So six, seven point pack right there. Boom. That's actually pretty solid. It is and pretty. It, it, yeah, it's very yeah. solid, and it's like some really neat cards. Yeah. You know, coming your way as well. So. 
You gotta, you gotta love when there's just like the two, the two full arts. Yes, like, that's, that's all. That's like the, that's the winning pack. Now, what's interesting is that um, after Silver Tempest, there's gonna be Crown Zenith, which is like a mini set. So uh, after we finish up the Silver Tempest round of box breakers, we will have a one month season of Crown Zenith, and then we will kick back into another three month season of the new base set, which will be Scarlet and Violet. And what's gonna be really cool about that one is that Pokemon is switching up entirely and uh, all these yellow borders are going to become silver instead to match the Japanese art. Very which exciting. Is awesome after 20 years. <laughs> um, we, we finally made it. We finally made it. And on top of that, every single pack will have a guaranteed three foil cards. So pretty that's going to be pretty cool. Pretty yeah, unreal. Pretty so if, if you are into the uh, the unboxing nature like we are, then it would be a great time to sign up. That Crown <laughs> Zenith pack uh, month will be the month of March, and Scarlet and Violet will kick off the month of April in yes. case you're figuring out when you might want to sign up. Yes, indeed. Uh, next up, we have a big time crowd favorite, but it's Strange Hammer. Hamburger on the table. The strangest. The strangest of hamburgers. Now, right. strange hamburger has not been known to like make the biggest pulls, but that has not stopped their like their fandom in the audience at all. I love all, it. I love know? it. I know, of course. Yeah. I mean, every <laughs> once in a me while. Of count threat. That is exactly what yeah. I was thinking yeah. of from Name of the Wind. From Bingo. Name of the Wind. Yeah, no, that's that's I can't actually open your pack <clears throat> today either. This is quite embarrassing. I feel like Ethan's gonna put together a montage of how long it took me to do this. I'm trying not to bend this one corner, but it is glued down there. Oh, man. I'm just having it myself a time. It feels like a good time to tell a story about something or another. How hard could it be to get this this bad boy open? You know what I'm saying? I'm rambling on purpose a little bit. I'm a little, I'm struggling here. I'm struggling and it's just peeling it. There we go. I think we're almost there. And we're there. We're over there. All right. Classic strange hamburger type of situation. <laughs> All right, code card off the bottom. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. And the flip, okay, All good right. to know. Teardrop Energy, exactly. one of my all-time faves. Right. Altaria. Altaria. We still have not had a single Fletchender or Fennekin, but, but one Sandile. But it's coming, Jay. It's coming. Like right Like, now. oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I was, like, I, I was like looking at the branches and I'm like, <laughs> we're there, we're there. So that's a scoring that's a point. point for you. Yep. The Drowsy, the Growlithe, the Mischievous, the Whalmer. Oh, the Amolga the scores. Amolga. Yep, the, the Lantern, Lantern score. And the Wretched Dragon. Dragon V. Those Very cool. cool. Okay, yeah, so we have four scoring cards there. Four. Yeah, okay. Let's check so on Reggie Drago there. Number one. It does feel another like one of those, unless it's competitive for some reason. Mm. 135 is going to be worth a dollar sixteen. It will round up to two, so not bad for kind go. of like a bulkish type of V there you card. Go. That's going to be a five point pack overall, which brings Strange Hamburger up to eight on the season. Not bad, not bad. It's definitely a good position. Coming into the day, that would have put you somewhere in the proximity of six to uh, eighth place. Yeah. So, and in good quality standing again for that quality eighth place finish. And you get the Reggie Drago. There you go, congratulations. Booyah, all right, next up is Wooding Fleece. Uh, this is Wooding Fleece's first pull, so another rookie on the day. Very exciting, very yeah. exciting. It also says that um, Wooding is a big fan of math. And numbers. Wow, this is the game for you, sir. It absolutely is. It feels like I can I can sense some strategic play coming into effect. How shall they do? Can but they pull tear, off teardrop energy? Teardrop energy. Yeah. We saw it coming, of we, course. We saw it coming. Yeah. Apparently, they package these other things all side to side and back to back. There we go. We, oh, but the emergency jelly. Oh, the last time we saw Serena, we ended up with a pretty good pack. This so is true. It's a good omen. We'll it's a good omen. If, playing uh, the odds, playing the numbers. The Wolf picks the Duosion and the Cabalion. Oh my goodness! Wow, another one of the three musketeer dog goat things. Are, are you a fan of single <laughs> numbers, as in the number one? And because that is the number is of points that will be granted for this pack. Points you have on there. Ben, look up Cabalion. Is this worse than Verizion? Hey, we're going to do ourselves a quick little check. 126. That was. We're looking for 9 cents. Okay, so 9 cents, number 126. Hang on, what's it? 11 cents. Wow, so significantly better. Packing a punch. There you go. Packing Double digits, even. All right, there we go. Next up, Ben, it's Linwood! Linwood! Booyah. Two All points right. on the season. So far, correct? Yes, two points on the season. Almost matched last season's total of three points total. So no, I think I they mean, had 13 last season. Oh, 13. 13. Forgive me, forgive me. So in that case, not Can they good. outdo themselves? Could it be? How many people do you think are just playing against themselves um, more than anything? Do we have something hanging down here? Oh, yeah, this thing fell down. Hey. Uh, that's fine. That's Behind the, the scenes, things happen sometimes. <clears throat> okay. Uh, dark teardrop energy. 
<laughs> Dark tears. Makes it makes it seem kind of sad, doesn't it? Does, it? Yeah. All right. The V guard energy. The hypno. The haunch crow. The swirlix. If the we dreepy, can land the vulpix. There we go. That's a score. If we can land an eyeball energy this season. Ooh, Ooh the radiant Serena. That is beautiful. Although I think we know <coughs> that the radiant Tarachi is the only radiant card that scores. Yeah, I think you're right. It scores that, outside of a point. Right. Yeah. Yep. And so we'll take a look here. And, and the, the Zygarde. Yeah. There we go. So it looks like a three-point pack there for Linwood, bringing them up to five on the season. Ben's gonna double check that Serena for you just to be safe. I just wanted to actually see the Zygarde. It's worth eight cents. Oh man! Yeah. So yeah. that there you go. It's another. That's an unfortunate uh, drop. <clears throat> Let's see. Next up, we have Robbie Cruz. Robbie Cruz. Robbie Cruz coming in with two points on the season. So looking for maybe a big pull here themselves, as ever, or maybe a real small pull, depending on what you're aiming for. Whatever your goals are, you know. Here we go. This is no. What is it going to be? It's going to be dark tear drop. Dark tear drop. Yeah. Every yeah. time. Every time. We're on to you, Woo, Pokemon we get Company. You, man. All right. There's the first of the downhead. The bra oh, they're not. No Fennekin. Stunfist scores. Snorunt, Fletching, Durant, Durant, and Dragonite. You know, there is something <clears> funny. <throat> it happened with the Articuno earlier today, uh, where. There, once upon a time in the early days of <clears throat> like the base sets, Fossil and everything, yeah. there was like a rare Dragonite that was just standard holographic. So like, yes. same thing with the Articuno. So like when I see that, I'm like, oh man, what? Like, I would love to pull that card. However, in uh, the more modern era, uh, less exciting. Less exciting. Standard hollow. No doubt. They no have doubt. definitely, they've definitely flexed and realized that the more shiny, the more better. Yeah. Although we'll see, I'm not sure how the um, the new Scarlet and Violet thing. They're gonna have EX cards instead of V, so the like Pokemon V and V Max and V Star stuff is gonna start getting phased out uh, come that time. And I think they're gonna go back to more like just like big Pokemon kind of bursting through the top rather than like full art. Sort oh, of thing. interesting. Okay, maybe they're trying to like lower our like get like our expectations <laughs> back in check down. so that like when eventually they'll have like cards that are like printed on like gold or something like that, like yeah. literal gold. Literal it's like, gold. It's like, wow, this card's worth a lot because of its actual weight. I know, right? Okay, next up we have Aerofell. Comes into the game, comes into the season with, or comes into this week of the season with just one point. So they may be looking for a V-Star marker themselves. Could be. Wait, could is be. this your pack? It I could be had, my pack. I yeah. think it is. All right, yeah. Hand it over, hand it wow. over. All right. Maybe now, we've just disrupted the order, too. I know. I know. Well, I know. let me just say that. It's all random anyway, so. Let's see here. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. All right. Salad energy. Salad. <laughs> Let's see. Meow stick. Candice. And ice. Solosis. Zubat. Man, this is such a psychic Fungus. heavy. Oh, the oh, Radiant Alakazam! I do like this card. That, yeah. Once again, it's another one where once upon a time in the early sets, there was a <clears throat> um, holographic Alakazam, yep. which our younger brother pulled two of in the same night once. Wow. In the back of our mom's minivan. Could not believe it. Man. Um, anyway, and that, close that, it off. The Zerora. Those are moments when it's like that's how like favorite Pokemon are formed. It's true. You know, yeah, it's like, like I now have a relationship. The Pokemon chose me. Yes. You feel chosen. What? How did this happen? It couldn't be. Alakazam for life. All right, so that looks like a three-point pack, if I'm not mistaken, then. Right, because one plus one for the bonus. One yep. there, three. There you go. Yes. You got it. Three-point pack, so four points on the season for Aerofell. And you get the Radiant Alakazam coming your way. And enjoy that fungus. Yeah. Next up is Collared Cow. 41. Okay. Four points on the first pack of season three. And is a big fan of making pizza. Hey, hey, me too. I love pizza. Where's the pizza Pokemon? You know, there, I bet there will be one. It does seem it, like there should it be. It does seem like it. It's yeah. it's long overdue at this point in time, right? Oh, here we go, collared cow coming in hot with some lightning bolt energy. Coming in hot like a pizza. <clears throat> coming in hot like a pizza. Arachnid, Stunger. Oh, that's a scoring Fennekin. The there we go. Wow. How about that? What about a you time. have going here? The Litten, the Durant, Durant, the Emolga. Leafy Camo Poncho and the Delphox. So look at that. You got yourself a nice little um, like Delphox line going here. Uh, I think that's going to be six points total. Six right? points on the pack. Yeah, All absolutely. There, yeah. So not bad and great use of the uh, the multipliers and the randomly chosen common chase cards. Nothing wrong. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now it's time for a very important prize winning kind of player. It's Big Steve. The one. The only. So. Lots of eyes on Big Steve here because, of course, whatever he pulls dictates who might win a prize. Now I'm curious, based on like where you pulled your pack 
from. Yeah. Because you pulled the one for me. Yeah. We got it mixed up. And then it looks like you pulled from your same side again. And now oh. there's a surplus on my side. But yours was a lightning bolt energy. Oh. Which means, like, a uh -oh. whole lot of stuff are about to be impacted based on which of these is, in fact, the lightning, the lightning bolt. bolt. Like, I feel like it's, like, I, this one. I think it's this front one? No, I think it's the second one. Uh oh. I think. Uh oh. Well, hey, man, I'll leave it to you to pick. Your, it's your time to pull for Big Steve. Who's to say how it could go? Uh oh. You went from you went one back. I went one back. Went one back. Could it be another lightning bolt energy? Could Big Steve be about to score big? We're about to find out. <clears throat> Everybody hold your breath. <sighs> oh, it is! Oh, you were right. You did the math Man, just right. Okay. Uh, okay. Big Steve's in that mouth. Who's to say? It could be it could be as much as two as little as two points. We have now officially thrown a wrench into the entire game. Yeah. Yeah, now this Let's is see. very interesting to see like what could happen. Uh -oh, right, Serena, the, Serena, the good omen. The good omen of the day, uh, the regenerative, regenerative energy. The uh, Ndidi. The Marini. Let's the see it. Okay, the there's Rotom. a Rotom. That'll be the first worth, Rotom we've seen all That'll day. be worth two. Um, and... Oh, the oh. Keldeo! It can't be! It can't be! So wow. six points on the pack though, correct? So the Rotom is worth two, the Keldeo is worth one, times two for everything. Yep. That's six, so uh, means Big Ski Steve score goes up to eight, which makes it a much more competitive field because uh, after the first week, only, what, eight people scored more than eight points. Right. So that's going to be, uh, that's going to make it a, a very, a very tight race right there for the Big Steve. And it could put it, like, very close contention for, like, the quality eighth place as well. Also true. Also true. Man, so, so that's and I think be really that it's sort of what happened last season as well, where quality eighth place and the Big Steve award ended up being very, like, Close. Nearby each other. Yeah, all right. So, so we'll see. Here we go. Next up we have Annika, <coughs> who's coming in with two points. Bam. Annika has just been recently restarting collecting Pokemon cards, thanks to the lovely um game here at Carlin Brother Ice Cubes. Hey. Rock is pummeling energy. Rock is pummeling energy. We, we didn't yeah. know it was coming this time. No, we didn't, but we know what's coming next. Maybe. All right. Nothing's... Oh, there's the Fennekin. Yep. Oh, oh there's the Fennekin. You're right. Yep. That scores. Belt on the Togo Tomorrow and the Miss Magus. Okay, so it's just a two point pack. A nice repeat performance by Annika. Very consistent player, sitting at four points so far on the season. Those cards coming your way. Oh, did I do that right? Hold them dear. Hold them dear. Yep. All right, next up, Ben, is Mots. Mots. Mots also coming in with two points on the season. And now, once again, I have no idea where where our uh, energy spread is. Everything has now become sheer randomness. Right. Let's All see. Right, let's How see. are we gonna do for Mots? We're feeling good. We're feeling, We're feeling good. good. Back. We'll give it a flip. Bam. Oh, yep. uh, uh, there we go. Salad energy. Salad energy. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Wallace. Wallace. Really? This person is called Wallace. That guy's called Wallace. He's like a champion, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, then. He's got some, okay, he's got some suggestive clothing going on. Just, I mean, know. you know, that's okay, though. Just do you. Do whatever feels right. You whatever do you. Not. Brandon. Brandon, the complete opposite dresser. Right? Sandy Gast, Halucha, Rufflet, Volpix, the Clay Doll, which yeah. is non-scoring, and, <coughs> and the, the Medicham. Medicham. So, uh, similar to Annika, throwing in a, a repeat performance at two points. Brings Mots up to four on the season, and uh, gets a nice shiny Medicham coming his way. Congratulations, Mots. Congrats! Congrats to Mots. Next up is Beck Squad. Beck Squad had a really good season last season with 25 points. Very impressive. That's high scores for here, uh, Carl Moe's Box Breakers. Yes, Just it putting is. Up, putting up big things. But this season, only three points so far. Okay, so, okay. so we'll a little, see. A little bit of room for improvement, as all, we're, as all we'll say. That's all we're gonna, yeah, there's no, nothing wrong with that. Let's see, can we go? Ooh, fire energy. Drag click, the lantern, the lantern scores. Yep. The clink, the whelmer, the dratini. And, oh, oh, the Mawile V. Okay, There okay. we go. Oh, actually, this reunicle scores as well. Oh, hey, there beautiful. Go, okay. It's rare. So it's at least a three-point pack. Let's the see. Mawile looks like a bulk V, so I'm thinking it's probably just a single point, but we'll see. 71 cents, you 71 are correct. So still three points on the pack for you today, so very wow. well done. And once again, very <coughs> consistent. Very consistent. That's the second, second uh, month in a row at three points. So six on the season. Which uh, puts you near the Big Steve Award, at least because he's at eight, right? I believe so, yeah. yeah. Yep. So right. striking distance going into uh, 
episode three of season three. Which is or really pack three of season three. When things get really wild. Uh oh, Ben. Now we have Data Rage, our other zero point contender. Oh, how exciting! It's very thrilling stuff. We're looking for the V Star counter again. Now, now, if I if I'm remembering correctly, uh, who was who was our other person? They got the one point. Let's see here. It was Anita. Anita, yes. Anita got the single point. So uh, Data Rage is looking for either the V Star marker, which she obviously didn't get there, yep. or like just a single point pack here. There we so, go. So like a good Verizion, something like that. A good Verizion. Yeah. Look at him. He's changing his exists. mind left, right, and center. You know, the rock, rock is, is pummeling. pummeling. Mm -hmm. Gym trainer. Well, that seems like a good sign. <laughs> Venomoth, uh, the Krogunk, the Solosis. A bunch of these just these are, feel like. Oh, wow. The, the Fungus. Fungus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Ponyta. And. Oh! Has Data Rage done it? I believe so. Put up a single point. Put up a single point. I believe so. Congratulations, wow. Data. You are, you are gripping onto that last place award with, with the tightest of grip. The tightest of grips. I mean. If you were if she was squeezing your hand, your fingers would feel like they were about to break. There's no way around it. Okay, then we have a uh, <coughs> former season champion here, Omega, who, if I recall, was like a pack off of like a a massive pull. I, be I believe so, and instead <laughs> scored a single, single point. point. So Omega, um, a four, I see the season two champion, I believe. Now it's crazy. This is how crazy this game is. Fifty eight points was enough to win. The entire Lost or, or Astro was it Lost Origin? Lost Origin season? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Last season. Yeah. And at at present, fifty eight points would put you in third place so. on this season. And that's only one pack of three into the season. So All right. it's unbelievable how this show can go and how the luck can turn. Let's see how Omega is going to do. Eyeball energy feels like a good omen. It but, does. It know. does indeed. Got the Matang, the Toxapex. So that's the Rotom, the Rotom. scores. Yep. Baneri, Dreepy, Fampy, Fletching, nope. Fletchling, and yep. Armaldo. Wow. Armaldo. So unfortunately, Omega only only bringing home the two points today for three on the season. But we'll, okay. we'll be rooting for you in the next pack. Still, dude. still one pack left, and you know the former champions. It's like the, it's like King's blood. You know, right. it's like there's something about it. You they never just know. got that little extra something. You know, they have it in them. That's the thing. You know, yeah. Uh, which is what everyone loves to think about our next contestant, Kimberly Lee, which is our final pack of the day. Kimberly Lee. You know what? I pulled uh -oh. the front pack. And instead, I'm just gonna go complete rando sauce. Whoa. Yep, there we go. There we go. Hopefully that, that, that was not a harmful decision there for you, Kimberly Lee. As we crack into today's pack. Bam, here we go. Could we end on like the biggest one? Could we? Possible. I feel like we came out of the gate pretty strong with that Alolan Vulpix, and then we've seemed a little bit of fizzle on this okay, box. So dark but... teardrop. Unidentified fossil. Oh, Lily, the canned ice. Litten, Murkrow, Crocodile, mm, and... Oh, so that's at least a point there, and... Oh, oh the, the Frostlass! Frost Man, well, there you go. That's gonna be a two-point pack for Kimberly Lee, bringing her up to four on the season, and that is going to wrap up all of our contestants for today. Man, well, very exciting stuff. Again, we are only at two packs uh, in really just our, our first phase of getting into the second pack of the season. Uh, all of the month of January will be the second pack for everybody else uh, who is competing at the moment. And yes. then going into February, we will have our finale packs, which will finally crown our season winner. And again, March 1st, we'll start that uh, single month season, if you'd like to participate in that one, uh, which is going to be featuring the... Crown Crown Zenith series. Totally knew exactly what the name of that set was. It was yes. in my head at some point in today's episode, but yeah. I forgot it. So uh, there will be the one month series, and then uh, starting on April 1st, we will have the start of our next three month series. Uh, we do have about 40 uh, potential slots left over on Patreon if you would like to sign up. The other really exciting thing is that we do still have one last uh, piece of gameplay that we would like to inject into the Box Breakers regime here uh, that will be a team based competition competition once all of the teams have been completely filled out. So just a little extra incentive for you there if you'd like to head on over and pick your favorite type uh, and start competing alongside uh, at least 36 other 
folk, or 35 other folk, I guess, yeah. if you will, because you'd be one of them. Yes. Um, again, that's all available over at patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Just select the box breakers tier. Link is in the description down below. But otherwise, until next time, bye! bye.